things yes I hope you guys are safe and well I am super excited for today's video as I'm going to be doing a bedroom and wardrobe tour for you I think this was suggested on a recent YouTube video and on a poll that I created on Instagram asking you guys what kind of content you wanted a couple of you suggested a closet tour so here we are <laughs> and another couple of you actually suggested a house tour now let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you'd like to see it would have to be an apartment tour as I live in an apartment, but yeah, let me know and I will film that for you. Back to my bedroom and wardrobe. I absolutely adore them, guys. They are perfect to me. They're exactly what I wanted and I can't wait to show them to you. The only problem I can see happening in a couple of years is storage issues. And for those of you who don't know, I'll leave a link to my 50 plus designer shoe collection and I'm sure you'll get the gist of it. <laughs> but before we jump into this tour, if this is your first visit, then welcome. My name is Yaz. But if this is your second, third or even fourth or fifth visit, then stop what you're doing right now. You know what you want to do. You want to hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, and join this crazy designer addicted family. We'd love to have you. If you have a hankering for all things luxurious and designer just like me, then this is the place for you. So without further ado, let's jump into this tour. Okay guys, so this is the entrance to my bedroom. This is my mask that I wore to my 21st birthday party. Um, I had a masquerade ball. I just think she's a really lovely decorative piece. My colour theme throughout my bedroom is definitely blues and greys, which I just adore. This is my mirror that I use to film my what I wear in a week videos and you'll see a lot of fake plants around. I can't keep real ones and I really like plants as a decorative kind of piece. So I have two wardrobes in my bedroom here. Um, this one's dedicated to Will and that one's fully mine. In my parents' bedroom at home, at my parents' house, my mum had a gorgeous island and I was just so obsessed with it that when I wanted my own place I was like I have to have an island in my bedroom and I'm so chuffed with it I think it just looks really lovely in my room I picked out this marble specifically because of the blue flecks going through it and I hope this picks up on the camera well um, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous again I like to decorate with fake plants. I just think they look so pretty, especially with this kind of color combo. It really dresses up the room. So let's have a look in this wardrobe. So this wardrobe's dedicated to bottom pieces. So I've got some short skirts at the top, my keeple, and then some jeans. My jeans are organized by designers. So I have my page jeans here some Massimo Tutti ones, Levi's and Reese, and then I've got some shorts because it's been really warm at the moment. And then in the two drawers at the bottom, we have like miscellaneous bottoms, so like <laughs> striped jeans, dungarees, that kind of thing that I'm not sure where to put. So for an example of what goes in my island, I have my bras and knickers, my pajamas on this side, and then we have swimwear, belts, and gym wear. Okay, so the lighting may alter a little bit for this section, but I've got a few more decorative pieces lining the windowsills. I've got another mirror on this side. And then I did want to mention this door. So if you can look out the window, you'll see panelling. So that's a barn that's right next to our house. So because of that barn, we have to have a fire escape. So this is the door. Now we've covered the window with a bit of plastic because you can't obstruct it. So I can't put a blind up there. Um, and it was just bringing in so much light that we were waking up in the summer at like five o'clock in the morning and not being able to get back to bed. Um, but I've just put this plant there at the moment just to dress up this video. And this 
is my gorgeous bed. I'm so chuffed with it. The bed frame's from Barker and Stonehouse, and I, just, I really adore it. I love this velvet grey. It's just amazing. I'm still on the lookout for a matching ottoman, so if you guys know of anything kind of like velvet ottomans, let me know in the comments down below. So I told my cleaner that I was doing a video in my bedroom and she's dressed my bed with towels to make it look like it's in a hotel. <laughs> um, but yes, we've also got sheepskin rugs, which I think complement the room as well. And especially because my apartment, all the flooring is wood flooring. And that's why you'll probably see a lot of slippers dotted around everywhere. My feet will go hard if I don't wear slippers. So I just... I have a lot to remind me to wear slippers. Now the only annoying thing about my bedroom is that my bedside tables don't have the same knobs as the rest of um, my furniture, so that will be shortly changed, um, but yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> um, at the moment I'm reading Night Without End, I'm not sure where I got my um, lamps from. I'll try and find out and link them in the description box down below. I did want to mention this. This is a room spray from Ilya, I think it is. It's such a nice smell and I use this every morning and afternoon to really give my bedroom a nice spray and spritz, make it smell nice. I definitely think it's missing something at the top of the bed. Needs a picture there or something, doesn't it? On the top of the bed frame, we have my teddies. This one's from Will, and this one is from Will's mum and dad. I love the one from Will's mum and dad because it's a zebra and I adore zebras, but it's also a heat bunny. I get really bad tummy pains now and then, so that really helps. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but my entire bedding is from the White Company. I adore the White Company bedding, it's so nice and soft, the pillows and everything are the White Company. I just really like it and how it dresses up and matches the bed frame. So this is Will's side, that's definitely my side. <laughs> um, behind me I have my TV, it's just in the perfect place, really good for watching TV in bed. And then when I go on holiday, I go, when I go to Portugal especially, I like to go into little um, shops and find cute decorative pieces and this was last summer's piece. And then I'll have to move back for this section. This is my rather large vanity and I absolutely adore her. Annoyingly though, my blind broke before lockdown so I wasn't able to fix it, still not able to fix it, so hopefully that will be fixed soon, but the window behind it has a gorgeous view out onto the river that I live nearby, um, and I really like looking at that in the morning when I'm doing my skincare. So in this section here, we have all my designer purses. If you wanna check those out, I'll leave a link up above. I did a video on them. Then we have my makeup, we have my <laughs> slippers that have been slightly destroyed by my dogs and then we have my hair stuff in here and a few like Jo Malone decorative pieces down there as well my Fenty like was it glitter bomb <laughs> I just love that um but let's have a look in here so I'll show you my makeup drawer so we have a mascara lipsticks foundations body butter we have some eyeliners in here and brow pencils and then powders on this side oh there we go <laughs> and then in this drawer we have my palettes so this is just for a bit of decoration but I like leaving them there these I like to leave these out just in case I need to grab something quick so I like this just purely because it's Charlotte Tilbury's brushes so if I'm ever oh, ever needing that in my bag I can quickly grab these and go and same if like I need any bits and pieces of makeup to go in my bag I like to leave this out and I just love this <laughs> so in this little tray we have all of my go-to skincare at the moment I've been loving comfort zone we've got my bio oil for my scars my ankle scar <laughs> and then we've got my makeup brushes now I know it doesn't seem like a lot um, 
just purely because I've been organizing them and I've been really loving Bobbi Brown's ones at the moment. And then in this section back here, these are all the samples that I've collected in the last couple of months. Um, and I just leave them there. So if I need a perfume to go in my purses, those are my go-tos. And then I have all of my Jo, Malo jo Malone, Jo Loves that I love. <laughs> Um, and then my favourite Jo Malone fragrances here as well. I've got quite a collection of perfumes that I'm still trying to, to get through. Um, this one was definitely loved, Coco Mademoiselle. And then we have my hair drawer. <laughs> so I've got nails and all my hair brushes, a spare mirror and then like gel takeoffs this is not an organized draw <laughs> and then we've got all my hair care products and my styling things <laughs> now if you guys want me to do a jewelry collection video let me know in the comments down below but these are most of my rings and watches and then obviously my rolex has to go in this gorgeous display box just love it and then i've got some more jewelry in here and here and a mask another mask that i wore to my masquerade ball because I'm bougie. <laughs> um, through there is my bathroom. I'll give you a quick look. But if you guys want me to film a tour, I will add that in. And then, last section is my walk in wardrobe. Hi. <laughs> So on my right we have all of my shoes and then a couple of bags at the bottom. This definitely needs extending at one point. <laughs> I can't believe I'm filling it up already at the moment, it's just crazy. And then I like to have some of my shoe boxes on display because that's just me. This is my favourite section. Now, my entire bedroom and this wardrobe was designed by Tom Howley's. I'll leave their Instagram link down below because honestly, it's so inspiring. I keep on like saving things to think about for like future things that I might want to add. And I just love it because I come in here and I feel like I'm shopping. <laughs> um, so that's really fun. And it's nice to have them all on display so I can really know what I want and go for them. And and sometimes I'll put on like my Rubens that I haven't used in a while. I'll keep that on display and it'll make me want to grab it more. So that's also a good idea. So we've got two wardrobes in this section. This is the first section and it's dedicated to all my tops. So I have my t-shirts at the start. They're going into more of um, my chiffon pieces and body suits that I really like. And then on the bottom we have shirts and my cashmeres and jumpers and all that kind of jazz and more slippers in the corner <laughs> but yeah this is my Hugo Boss jumper that I absolutely adore it's the comfiest jumper ever and then on to the last section in my wardrobe and bedroom is this section now this is probably the more dressy up section i'll start with the bottom so i put my speedies and never falls in here just out the way let's start in this section so this is the coat section so i have my my burberry cashmere trench coat followed by reese and mac and mac <laughs> and Massimo Dutti MAC trench coat and then again Massimo Dutti, more Massimo Dutti <laughs> another Reese in here um, and we've got a bit of French Connection dresses going on Karen Millen, Versace I've got quite a few dresses this one's from Alice and Olivia and she's absolutely gorgeous and then moving through onto some of my dress pants, I would say um, a few from Massimo Dutti again. Got some leather pants that I don't think I fit in, but you know when you're like, I will fit in you one day. That is the vibe. <laughs> and then a couple of my longer dresses are in here as well.
Okay guys, so that sums up my bedroom and wardrobe tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't be afraid to comment or suggest any videos or anything that you want to see filmed and I will put it on the to-do list. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.